Okay, you're probably wondering what the hell is going on. And on some level, I am too. But there's a point to that video. That is a new video that was put out by Marjorie Green, who is totally not still mad about Jasmine Crockett making a fool of herself in a, a House hearing. So she put that out, obviously, after the fight that happened between her and uh, Representative Crockett and Representative AOC. And she put this, this uh, message along with it saying, yes, my body is built and strong. Like, okay, she used the word built. Crockett did. She didn't use the word strong. So rhetorically, what are you doing there? Not with nips, tucks, plastic, or silicone, but through a healthy lifestyle. Soon turning 50 years old, God willing, I will continue to lift, run, swim, play sports, surf, ski, climb, and live this life to the fullest, and hound the survivors of mass shootings at schools uh, and enjoy every single moment of it. Okay, that's fine. Look, she didn't attack Representative Crockett in it. She just talked about how she likes to work out which is hardly one of the worst things about her. Uh, as a fan of home gyms myself, I don't like that we even have overlapping interests, but that's fine. It's not attack, it's not escalating the feud. Okay, that's, that's fine. I wanna jump ahead to uh, graphic four because she also says this, okay? And maybe this is her trying to calm things down. I think no matter what shape, size, or how we look, we need to be ourselves. Not telling women the only way to be attractive or accepted is to have fake boobs, fake hair, fake lashes, and injected faces. I mean, we all wear makeup and do lashes and stuff sometimes, but it's out of control. Women need a better message for women. And that is from Marjorie Green, who unfortunately also just a few days ago told Jasmine Crockett, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up what you're reading. So it's like a fine message, Danielle. But it's coming from one of the worst possible carriers of the message. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. I thought by now she would have gone on Twitter and attacked AOC and attacked Representative Crockett. She hasn't done that, so I guess that's good. What is your read of the status of the feud right now? The reason why she hasn't done it is because she had her entire body handed to her in a house hearing in front of the world, right? Like, don't come for adults when you're a toddler, right? And like this, this is the thing that I love about Representative Jasmine Crockett, you know, and I, I've said this on on my shows. I love Michelle Obama when she said, they go low, we go high. Representative Jasmine Crockett is like, I'm gonna match your energy and I'm gonna best you at it. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what Democrats need to continually do with Republicans that want to continually try and bring our politics down into the sewer. She couldn't handle it. Right. And turned herself into a victim. So she wants to post a workout video. She wants to post some empowering message. When you have the opportunity, opportunity to apologize when you should have been forced to apologize, given the rules and AOC pointing that out to the chairman. But the chairman, they love this kind of like BS, right? So she didn't apologize. This is what happens. So I don't care how many workout videos she wants to post. She looks like a Neanderthal. And that's what I would have called her, but it doesn't have the same alliteration. <laughs> it's not quite as, yeah, uh, maybe a little bit of punching up in the edit room or something. Look, I, I prefer and I try to have it be in almost all cases, the policy of TDR that we do not focus on, comment on people's physical appearance. Occasionally, something slips through. Occasionally, <laughs> we try not to do it too much. Even with, by the way, it's always been our policy, even with Representative Green, as reprehensible as I find her. Um, and knowing that she has occasionally watched the show, I not only do I not criticize her physical appearance because I consider it to be one of the least relevant things about her. The thing that is ugly about her is her shriveled, crumpled up soul. It has nothing mm. to do with her physical body or anything. It's her horrible hypocrisy, the terrible morals, her misreading of the Bible, her complete lack of interest or curiosity about the natural world, her inability to experience compassion for anyone who isn't exactly like her. It's a variety of things. It's not her physical appearance, I don't really care. I don't care what most politicians look like. Um, and and when people watching the show have commented on her physical appearance, I have told people not to do that. But she is the one who started it. And if these messages are an indication that she's done with that, then I say good. Obviously, I do not speak for Representative Jasmine Crockett. I speak only for myself. But I would say good. Let's focus it back on the policy and on values and all of that. But we will see and we will be watching and I don't necessarily buy it. Danielle, what, what do you think? 
I will also just add, um, because I'm not above critiquing people, it's particularly those that are racist, but her language that she used and what she said was a racist attack. And mm-hmm. so, you know, we can say like, oh, well, you know, it was just name calling and what have you. The way that she came for Representative Jasmine Crockett and other things that she has said about black women um, go to show me exactly what it was that she was trying to say. So once again, it don't dish it if you cannot take it because we will always double down and do better. And then you'll be embarrassed. And the reason why she hasn't insulted or come for AOC, even though she said, debate me, debate me, like, why would I debate you? That's like going mm-hmm. to a kindergarten class and beating one of them up because I want to show how tough I am. I'm yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and knowing that, like, you know, the people watching won't care. It's not like the, the, when was the last time a debate convinced anyone of anything? Um, but I agree. Uh, and I'm glad that you remind everyone about the sort of racist dog whistle nature of her comments and not just the initial comments. Now, mm-hmm. the initial comments were definitely, that's what she was talking about with the eyelashes and all that. Again, don't say that we shouldn't be policing how women like dress or comport themselves to be attractive when you believe that only some stereotypical white concept of beauty is worthwhile. I will also say that in this message, I don't know, like she still talks about fake lashes. She talks about fake hair. I don't know that there's necessarily a lack of that sort of dog whistle even in the updated comments. And also, by the way, I don't think that people should expect that they have to get plastic surgery or whatever to look better. But but I also think that if they want to, why are you down and on them? Like she's so inarticulate in the way that she expresses herself. <laughs> also, by the way, like Green, I love, I love that you have a lifelong commitment to fitness. I think that's great. I think that the overlap with your social life in some cases has been bad for you, but I, I like that you do that. You know what though? Not everyone can have a home gym and not everyone has the time and the resources to constantly work out. Again, a lot of people are under a lot of financial pressure. Maybe if you actually cared about them and advocated for them, then they could share in all of the surfing and running and climbing and all the fun, cool stuff that you like to do. A lot of people are hurting. Not everybody has an hour or two a day for CrossFit, you know, after finishing up an episode of their podcast or whatever, when they're supposed to be serving their constituents. 